this part of a two-part conversation for the Adelaide Show podcast about tea and coffee culture. Notice how the word culture is next to coffee. Anyway, uh, is being recorded on a Saturday morning. It's often next to bacteria as well. <laughs> is being recorded on a Saturday morning uh, because it's, uh, it's a very important weekend. This is the weekend that baristador.com is clutching to its bosom, its dear friend, the devotee. That's Robert Godden. Welcome, Robert. Thanks for having me, Steve. And the neutral person here <laughs> is uh, Simone Douglas, proprietor of the Duke of Brunswick Hotel in Adelaide, which not only this weekend has launched breakfasts, mm -hmm. uh, also stocks and sells Robert's devotee coffee. Welcome, Simone. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me. Breakfasts are back and your kitchen's magnificent. What's mm -hmm. been the skew downstairs, tea versus coffee orders? As um, people well, I have to say that so far this morning, it's definitely been uh, skewed to the highly caffeinated coffee variety. Um, but, you know, in reality, you know, people who drink tea are not as caffeinated and so are slightly more sedate in their starts to their Saturday mornings. And I would expect that to change somewhat as the morning progresses. Ever the politician. <laughs> no, that, is, that, is, that is absolutely true. There are certain things like coffee and methadone that people don't want to wait for. And then there's other things that people are willing to savour, such as tea. Well, I'm having my espresso of Baristador B70 blend right now. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Why don't I have a cup of tea, Steve? Um, Robert, can you do it for us, please? Oh, absolutely. So if I want to make a cup of tea, I select one of my 70-odd gins of tea I have at home. I which one did you choose? Uh, this is a Thousand and One Nights, which is a mint and green tea blend that is available from the Duke. And then... We just uh, pop that in a teapot, really, really simple. And then I'm going to pour water in the teapot. And I've actually finished the process. All I've got to do is wait for about two minutes for that to brew. And then I'll pour it in my cup and away I go. It is an entirely simple process. Um, it, it makes you wonder why the tea bag was ever invented. What sort of, um, what sort of uh, effort it's saving you. It's espresso. Mm. Like where, where you're having a shot of espresso, that's where the beans are naked. And so, Simone, you concur from a making perspective. Well, from a making perspective, but also, I suppose, from a drinking perspective. So I do a lot of networking, as you know, which means I go to a lot of different events and venues. Uh, and I'm one of those unfortunate people that drinks and almond milk macchiato. So if you could make something wrong or badly, that's pretty much the coffee that's not going to go well when you go somewhere to order it. Um, so I, I would suggest that um, the beans maketh the coffee, absolutely. But then of course, you know, the grind maketh, you know, the beans in terms of how that coffee comes out. And uh, we know ourselves, you know, if our grind goes pear shaped a little and we can't get it adjusted back to the right you know, um, right setting, then that's an emer that's a coffee emergency. So we, we have to call out, and generally we'll call out the roaster because he knows exactly um, how his coffee is meant meant to taste and feel and uh, all of those things. So um, yeah, I don't, Robert. I hate to say, but you can't get a good coffee everywhere in Adelaide or a, de a decent coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and often, you know, uh, they burn the milk, which then burns. Mm -hmm anyway so yeah yeah and, and and we've all seen that but i think uh, steve is right that the, when he says the bar is set low with people who drink um uh coffee yeah. with lots of milk and lots of sugar um the fact is though that's a sizable portion of people who buy it now when when we, in our um in our shop we had um we used to see the macchiato as actually the expression of the art because you firstly got to have a perfect espresso, but then on top of it, you've got to, and the word we used to use is stain it with milk. And, uh, but anyway, we're, we're, for some reason, we have devolved into talking about this second, second beverage, uh, the second most popular beverage in the world being coffee and not talking about the most popular beverage in the world, which is of course tea. 
this is your moment to get back on track okay yeah fair enough uh it is my podcast and i edit it in the end (laughs) Uh, (laughs) we 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 find things in tea we find we find stories and we find um sweepings off the floor we find memories and steve you really are not going to rile me um (laughs) You know, I'm going to adopt a uh, an attitude of superior condescension here because it's clearly warranted. Um, and uh, you know, look, I I I used to be by beverage. I get it, right? But in 2013, I made the decision that the sad fact is this: every time you have a cup of tea, you have missed an opp- Sorry, every time you have a cup ah. of tea, you have missed an opportunity to have a cup of tea. And that was uh, a burden I was no longer willing to impose upon myself. So in 2013, I drank my last cup of coffee. Uh, it, was, it was a lovely Jürgen Jeff. Um, and then I, um, I went on to, uh, to being wholly and solely in a committed and look, relationship with tea. Thank have you. We- we'll see you for breakfast. Or uh, actually, I've got some friends wanting to have a whiskey evening over at your place the Duke of Brunswick uh, in the next few weeks. Excellent. Well, we're starting whiskey flights next weekend. So you can try any one of our 44 <laughs> single... Magnificent. And Thanks. Robert, welcome to baristador.com. I'm looking forward to the nuances and flavours you'll bring as we share to the world our love for doing things correctly. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about doing things correctly. Yes, and, and yes, you can raise your cup if you wish, because I want to use that toast you do. I am now, at the moment, had I been having a cup of tea, been missing the chance to have a cup of coffee. That's what you said, wasn't it? That is not what I said, and you're misquoting me, and you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you.